We don't have anything, but even now, I mean, y'all are police. I'm not doing anything illegal. I was sitting here relaxing. Red Lobster gift card. Red Lobster hey, gift card. I know we're going to lunch. Hell oh, yeah. Hey, that notice, to, our notice is right there. I'll get that. She definitely saw us. Easy rifle over there? I think so. Just fucking shitting in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you, wait, hang on. Let me ask you this. Are you telling me you shit in the light? I only ever shit in pitch black. <laughs> what are the benefits of shitting in the pitch black? You can't see the spookiness that comes out of you. Uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see, and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created evict the bad motherfuckers get good motherfuckers in there is my game face on mm -hmm. initial walkthrough hello youtube We just evicted this guy, and this you'll see. I'm sure it's high quality. My ass look. Oh, pretty good. Our dude was living. I too, that's the one. Kali, Kali, Kali. I heard you're open up. Hello? What's, go What's going on, man? Okay. Now we come up? Alright. Hell yeah, Pete, get after it. It's not magic. Like, yeah, buku bucks can be made, but you better prepare yourself and you better have the right expectations set uh, or you absolutely will lose money because you can lose money. And I've seen a lot of people lose money, right? You know, in fact, uh, what you call it? The majority of the evictions uh, that you guys see that we do, that's another comment we get that fucking starts to get annoying after a while. You get all these motherfuckers like, Dude, you just leave a, is that a BB rifle over there? I think so. Nice little air rifle. You know what's crazy? What? Shine a, the light on that picture over here. Behind you. I think that's a lady that was supposed to be on the lease. Probably was. <laughs> These guys said they had to take pictures. I didn't tell them they couldn't come. Not a gun. What is that? It's a BB gun. <laughs> It's a BB gun, first off, and second off, I didn't tell them they couldn't come. I just talked to the lady and told her she could come. Then they could come in. I said, you didn't want them there. I, because I have a problem going on with the maintenance. They're not fixed. You see, it's cold in here. They're not fixed, fixing my heat or nothing like that. I've been trying to get in touch with the maintenance for the longest. But that's not what they're I told. What's up with Holden Wise? They must be the worst landlords in the world if they're evicting all these people. Well, number one, it's a $75 million real estate portfolio, pal. 
So when you got $75 million worth of real estate in a place like Cleveland where houses can be bought for like 30, 40 grand, that's a lot of fucking properties. It's a numbers game, right? Talk to Walmart. How many upset customers do they have? Talk to AT&T. How many upset customers do they have? So just by the number, sure scale, you're going to get your complaints, number one. But number two... And he could have been on the lease and stayed here. He wasn't dodging us for like literally the last eight months. Yep. Some fleas bouncing around. Are they? No, it's flies. Yeah. What do we got in the smoke room, my dude? Well, it's just another bedroom. Anything nice? No, it's like surprisingly a little bit nicer than this one. That's about it. Hey, that notice, to, our notice is right there. I'll get that. She definitely saw us. Where does that door go? It's the other hall door. Oh. Huh. There's so much shit in here. Uh, Gary's not gonna put that on, but he's probably gonna have to do that. Yeah. I just talked to the lady and told her that they can come in. Okay. They had to call the police. <laughs> they said you were. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. This is crazy. It's fine. Take your pictures and hurry up, man. That's what I'm doing, this man. This is ridiculous. I just got to get a quick walk through all that. Uh, that's fine, man. It, should, it, it was not that serious. Good Lord. I, would talk, I finally got to... Uh, the majority of the evictions you guys see and the majority of the, the really bad stuff that you guys see us dealing with, it's because somebody didn't do the right due diligence and, and got in and over their head and had a really hard time managing the investment, running the investment, because it is hard. It is not just free, easy mailbox money. And they contacted us to either... I wanted to see this fucking place, mm -hmm. so I didn't really talk very well. It's okay. No commentary, but... Red Lobster gift card. Red Lobster gift card. I know we're going to lunch. Hell oh, yeah. I don't see any bugs on Me either, which but, makes... you know, this place is still gross, so... It took me for months. Uh -huh. Finally, because I did this. About my place. And they called police anyway when I told the lady, okay, they could come in. I just got off the phone with them, but they called anyway. They had to do all that extra shit. Now y'all coming here, holding your guns, kicking this thing. This is exactly what black men deal with Amer in America every day. Because that doesn't look like a gun. Oh, it does. You just had to be. It's too late. <laughs> oh, it does. It sure does. The way you walk up to it. Vegetarian refried beans. Aren't refried beans already uh, vegetarian? Mm, I don't know. Because aren't they just beans? I don't, I don't make the rules on beans. No electricity in the unit. Clearly that's been shut off by uh, the city. So does that mean they were just fucking shitting in the dark? <laughs> uh, yeah, are you, wait, hang on, let me ask you this, are you telling me you shit in the light? I only ever shit in pitch black. <laughs> what are the benefits of shitting in the pitch black? You can't see the spookiness that comes out of you. Fair enough. It's, you know. Um, there's another big negative, we got a fucking Steeler saying, ah, uh, boo. Oh well. I might be able to do a bit here. It's too much shit. Yeah, the trash out alone is gonna be. That's why I'm getting picks. Fucking insane. I'm grabbing some delectable uh, non nudes for this guy. A lot of extension cords. Help them take over their existing investment. And we got to go in and we got to clean up the problems that they created, evict the bad motherfuckers, get good motherfuckers in there. Or they're just so over it and they're so done with the stress and the, and the trauma 
and, and, and just the, the bullshit that they're just like, hey, Holton Wise, this is where we're at. This is our property. This is what's going on. Just get rid of it. Like, get it away from our lives. It is not worth the stress that this particular property is putting on our lives. And, and we take over properties that way, right? So, like, you know, the properties where we actually screen the tenants and, and place the tenants into these properties, the eviction rate is like a tenth uh, of what you see on tenants that we inherit through one of those two scenarios. And it's because we run a 100% no-nonsense business. We professionally screen everybody. We do not give deviations. We have standards. We stick to them. We never deviate from them. It is a no deviation, no nonsense policy, right? So like, you can give us any stop story in the world. If you don't check all the boxes, you don't get the fucking apartment. That's how it works. That's why we don't evict a lot of people. And anybody who doesn't pay rent, we don't deal with any stop stories. 100% of them get evicted. And close to 100% of those that get evicted are probably going to end up on Holton Wise TV at some point. So that in and of itself is also a pretty big deterrent, right? Because what we found... It is the biggest thing with like evictions, right? It, it's tenants that don't believe the landlord is actually going to go through court and actually kick them out. Like they have this like weird block in their head where they're like, nah, he said he's going to evict me, but he's just bluffing. He's really not actually going to throw everything I own in the street. And, and they believe that, right? And that's what leads them to fuck around, right? Uh, you know, fuck around and find out though, bro. When you work with Holton Wise, you go into it knowing if I fuck around, these motherfuckers, not only are they going to evict me guaranteed, they're going to stick a fucking camera in my face and, and broadcast it to the world. Get off this PlayStation 3. No way. For such, There's so much shit in here for such a small unit. Um, did you feel how like soft the uh, kitchen floor yeah. Was by the fridge. Yeah, not good. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.